blenders, grease pencils seems primarily for artists. Geometry nodes, on the other hand, are primarily like magic gift boxes for math set people. If you look at the sunflower picture carefully, we will see that we can look at it from an artistic point of view or a mathematical point of view. This video is a tutorial on how to draw a sunflower using Blender's grease pencil and geometry nose. First, let's think about how to draw a sunflower. There is just a way to draw it and we may be able to use guidelines to keep the shape a little planned. If we go into more detail, we may be able to pay attention to the change in the filling according to the shape of the petals. However, no matter how we draw a sunflower on paper, we find that we have no choice but to repeat something. On the other hand, when arranging the patterns of sunflowers using a computer, we find that avoiding the feeling of excessive repetition gives a more natural feeling of sunflowers. There are probably a lot of ways to draw sunflowers through geometry nodes depending on the operator's personality. I share the process because I thought it would be okay to draw a few stroke combinations. First, draw a simple sunflower petal shape with grease pencil. And let's make a stroke that arranges the patterns of sunflowers. After creating a basic curve object, creating uniform points on this curve, and arranging sunflower petal shaped instances on top of the points. Create a Bezier cover object, click the Geometry Nodes tab and create a new node tree with a new button. To arrange this pattern object as an instance at points on the curve, drag and drop it to the node window. Add an instance on points node to check the arrangement of patterns. To check the shape placed on the curve, Add a join geometry node to check the curve and instance at the same time. To arrange the patterns in the shape of a sunflower, circle them with the curved objects. Sunflowers have patterns arranged in a radial shape, so to implement them, add and connect the curved tangent node and the align Euler to vector node. Add a resample curve node to increase the number of sunflower patterns. Interesting expressions are also possible by controlling the count value of the resample curve node. A stroke to draw the shape of a sunflower's pattern is complete. If we want to bring more diversity into the shape of patterns, we can use the instance collection, not the instance object. If you look at the sunflower again, there are countless seeds arranged in the middle. I am going to draw patterns and seeds separately. Create a new curve object to represent the seeds and create a geometry nose tree again. We are going to duplicate and fill this small seed with an instance. Using the mesh object is a very simple problem, but in order to use the curve for the filling of drawing, the curve must be converted into a mesh first. Adding a fill curve node fills in and becomes a mesh. Fill the inside with the distribute points on faces node. Add an instances on points node to connect it so that the instance can be seen. Next, add a curve object to represent the stem and create a geometry node tree. 
to create the thickness of the stem, add the curved mesh node and connect the curved circle to the profile curve. Drag and drop leaf shaped instances to arrange leaves attached to the stem. Add the joint geometry nodes and add the instances on points nodes. Connect the leaf shape to the instance socket and arrange the leaves on the stem. Now there is a problem of specifying where the leaves will be arranged. Add a resample curve node to secure sufficient location information on the curve. If the selection on the instances on points node is determined, the position of the leaves can be adjusted. The easiest thing to control is to utilize the endpoint selection node, but sophisticated selection and control are difficult. Arrange leaves using curve parameter node and color ramp node. Frame the nodes related to the leaves on the stem to arrange the opposite side of leaves. After duplicating to Ctrl Shift D, Add the Rotate Instances node to rotate it 180 degrees to the y-axis. I gave some modifications to this basic stroke construction method and added some strokes to draw some flowers. Even if the sunflowers all look similar, I think it's fun to draw in this way that they all have different shapes if you look closely. That's it for this video. Thank you for all your time.